Hey everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. I've got another uh, easy, simple uh, Cinema 4D tutorial for you that uh, deals with texturing and applying alpha channels to textures and manipulating the uh, surface of the texture so that uh, you've got some irregular areas uh, of a texture that can be applied to a, uh, a flat surface and just give a more natural look to your texturing. So I've got my friend uh, Google Images up and we're going to apply a texture, a movie poster, an old movie poster to a surface in Cinema 4D. So let's find this. There's one king of the zombies. We'll download this guy. We're going to save that to our desktop. We're going to let that be called uh, posters. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save that. Now we need to prep this in Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop fired up here. and We're going to open that image. Let's see if we can locate it here. And what we're going to do is, because we've downloaded this image, it's already flattened and there's no transparent information beneath this image. So we're going to do a Control A to select it all, Control C to copy it, and at this point we can close it down. So we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to paste this image that we copied by Control V uh, into our new document. Now we're going to reduce it in size just a touch, so what I'm going to go to is Image or Edit Transform. Uh, scale. And I'm going to do a uniform scale and I'm going to scale this down just a touch, center it up in our document, hit enter, and at this point we're going to make our uh, selection with our lasso selection tool. And we're going to tear these edges up a little bit just to give it some irregularity. I'm going to select this corner here and just tear it off a piece, do something about like, like that there. We're going to delete that and we'll come in a little bit and add a little bit of a, a rip in there. Let's break this corner off here. Same way. Just some irregular shapes just to indicate that it's been worn and handled and uh, distressed a little bit. We'll do something down here again. Something like that possibly. And maybe we'll break this whole corner off here. Old poster. So it's a little bit damaged. I'm going to rough up this edge a little bit more, make it a little bit more natural instead of that straight edge. So there we go. Somebody's really abused this poster and tore it all up. So at this point, we're going to save it as a PNG file, save as. Um, call that poster 2. Choose the PNG type. We're going to save this out with all the uh, defaults so that we retain this area around it that has our transparent information. So we can minimize Photoshop. I'm going to fire up Cinema 4D and I'm going to create a wall that's just going to simulate an outdoor wall. Drop a cube in there for that. Nothing fancy going on here. We just got us a wall surface that we can apply our poster to. There's a couple ways to do this. We could subdivide this or we could put it on a plane and put the plane close to the surface. So let's take a plane and we're going to rotate that guy around. We'll rotate it 90 and then another 90. I think I want 95 on that one. Let's get that about right there. Okay, so we've got our plane. We'll move this guy out so that it's uh, outside this wall. We'll scale it so that it has approximate shape, outer shape, as the uh, poster. I'm going to take that poster. I'm going to reduce its width segments and height segments to uh, 1 and 1. And I'm going to go up from my top view here, and I'm going to put it just so that it appears that it's been taped on the wall or possibly, uh, you know, stapled to the wall, affixed to the wall some kind of way. So that looks pretty good. All right, here, I'm going to move it up and get it positioned on the wall like I like it. And I'm going to go here and double-click my text area, double-click the or my uh, texture area, double-click the texture that I've created. And we don't need specular, so I'm going to disable that. And on my color channel, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to browse for that poster PNG that we created. So if I go down here, I'm going to scroll down and find it, Poster 2. Select that. Enter No so that it doesn't copy, make an additional copy on my hard drive here. And I'm going to select my alpha channel. Check mark that one. And I'm going to browse for the same exact image, the Poster 2 file. Enter Open. Say No. And what you've now created a texture here that has alpha information on those areas that we've uh, distressed on that. So I'm going to drop it on my plane. I'm going to, again, rotate my cube. And 
seems Cinema 4D can hardly ever get that uh, texture applied in the mean that you intend it to be. It always is backwards or upside down or sideways or um, I guess it also has to do with the degree that you rotate that image. So I've got my image here. I'm going to zoom in on it. You can see that we've got that alpha information now on our poster that we've applied to this wall. So if I render that out, you can see that uh, all those tear marks, any areas that we distressed it are now applied to this plane which will allow us to see through that. So depending on the distance that you've placed this poster from your wall, uh, if I move that out a little bit, I may not even have to. I can probably put a light in here and have that light apply shadowing. Let's see what we get here. If I take that light and go down under its properties and tell it to give a soft shadow, maybe 80% uh, in strength there. If I zoom back in here, render that out probably my lights in the wrong position you're going to be able to see or it's too close to that surface I'll move that out a touch and adjust that lighting potentially we're going to see some shadowing occur on that texture and you can see there's a little bit right there uh, probably if I were to move that shadow that light out a little bit we might get a different result with that shadow but you can see we've got some shadowing again I'm probably too far from that wall I think a shadow is going to be a little more harsh closer to the wall. And again, it's going to be in regards to the angle that you're viewing it and uh, things of that nature. So just an alternative way for you to apply uh, textures and irregular shape textures uh, to get more believability in your scene rather than have just a, uh, a solid rectangular shape poster without any uh, distress or any kind of damage to it. Uh, you could also, I could subdivide this poster and apply multiple textures to the same surface. So, hope that helps you guys. Um, please check back in the future. Uh, put up more After Effects, Cinema 4D, and a variety of different tutorials, tips, and tricks. Remember, if you like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.